These massive Ekranoplans, also called ground effect vehicles, belong to a particular category of aircraft that utilize the aerodynamic principle of ground effect to operate. Imagine these colossal machines, almost like an airplane and boat fusion, crafted to soar right above the water's surface. They harness the air cushion the ground effect generates to take flight and minimize resistance. There was a time when giant Ekranoplans showed great potential for both military and civilian purposes. However, their journey was filled with victories and challenges, and eventually, their popularity decreased. Join me as we delve into the events that influenced the ascension and decline of these extraordinary vehicles. Long ago, during the Cold War, the tail of the giant Ekranoplans first took flight in the vast lands of the Soviet Union. In the 1960s, the Soviet military embarked on a mission to create Ekranoplans, aiming to revolutionize transportation with unconventional and high-speed solutions. Under the guidance of engineer Rostislav Evgenievich Alexiev, the Soviet Central Hydrofoil Design Bureau delved into creating these exceptional vehicles, varying in size from compact reconnaissance models to large strategic transporters. One of the most remarkable Ekranoplans created during this era was the KM, famously called the Caspian Sea Monster. Behold this magnificent creation, boasting a wingspan of almost 40 meters, crafted to gracefully glide over the water with incredible speed, transporting hefty loads across vast distances. Back in the 1960s, when it made its grand debut, this creation immediately caught people's attention worldwide. Its massive size and unique look quickly earned it a fitting nickname. Long ago, the Soviet military saw the great possibilities that Ekranoplans held for various military uses, such as maritime patrol, anti-submarine warfare, amphibious assault, and strategic transport. These vehicles had much going for them compared to regular aircraft and ships. They could zip through the skies at top speeds for miles while lugging around hefty loads. Several Ekranoplans were created and implemented for military purposes, with specific versions that transported soldiers, armored vehicles, and ballistic missiles. Although they showed great potential initially, Ekranoplans encountered various obstacles that led to decreased military attention. After the Cold War ended, there was a change in priorities. This shift resulted in budget reductions and less attention to unique technologies like Ekranoplans. Furthermore, with the progress in satellite surveillance and anti-ship missile technology, the utility of Ekranoplans for military purposes dwindled, reducing their attractiveness to defense organizations. Aside from being utilized for military purposes, there was curiosity about discovering other potential uses for Ekranoplans, including maritime transportation, search and rescue operations, and tourism. Yet the journey to commercialize Ekranoplans was filled with obstacles, such as regulatory challenges, safety concerns, and the insufficient need for more infrastructure to support their operation. Although smaller Ekranoplans were utilized for coastal patrol and rescue missions in remote areas, they were never widely embraced for civilian use. Although they didn't achieve much commercial success, Ekranoplans have left a lasting legacy in aviation and maritime engineering. Enthusiasts and researchers are still captivated by their distinctive design and capabilities, motivating them to work towards preserving and documenting these extraordinary machines. Numerous Ekranoplans, such as the famous Caspian Sea Monster, are now on display in museums worldwide, acting as symbols of a past era filled with creativity and determination in Soviet aviation technology. Engineers faced a series of distinctive technological challenges during the deployment of Ekranoplans, specifically in aerodynamics, propulsion, and structural design. Ekranoplans flew in a unique aerodynamic zone called the ground effect, where the flight behavior was greatly affected by their proximity to the water's surface. To enhance the performance of these vehicles, engineers faced challenges related to stability, control, and aerodynamic efficiency. Developments in wing design, propulsion systems, and control services emerged to tackle these challenges, resulting in the birth of revolutionary technologies that expanded the horizons of aerospace engineering. With the rising popularity of Ekranoplans, worries started to emerge regarding their environmental effects and legal consequences. Concerns were raised about the operation of these vehicles, especially in delicate marine ecosystems, due to noise pollution, habitat disruption, and the potential for accidents or spills. Moreover, 
the distinctive operational features of acronoplons pose regulatory obstacles concerning air and maritime traffic control, safety standards, and international treaties overseeing the use of airspace and waterways. To address these concerns, a tale unfolded where government agencies, environmental groups, and industry stakeholders joined forces. Together, they crafted guidelines and regulations harmonizing innovation with environmental protection and safety. Once upon a time, the acronoplons were envisioned solely for high-speed transportation. However, as technology evolved and geopolitics shifted, new possibilities and missions emerged for these extraordinary machines. In the 21st century, new ideas like autonomous acronoplons have surfaced as possible uses for maritime surveillance, disaster response, and offshore operations. Moreover, progress in materials, propulsion, and automation technologies unveiled fresh opportunities to enhance Acronoplan's performance, efficiency, and versatility across different operational settings. There was a time when the creation and use of Acronoplan's ignited curiosity and rivalry among nations aspiring to excel in aerospace and maritime technologies. During the Cold War, the Soviet Union took the lead in developing Acronoplan's. However, other countries like the United States, Germany, and Japan also delved into research and experiments with similar concepts. Recently, countries like China have joined the fray by investing in creating large-scale acronoplons for military and civilian use. The global competition has sparked creativity, teamwork, and the sharing of ideas in ground-effect vehicles, influencing the advancement of the technology and its worldwide uses. Even with all the obstacles and difficulties encountered by acronoplons, there is still a sense of hope regarding their possible contribution to the future of transportation and defense. With continuous technological advancements, acronoplons may see a resurgence in interest and potential applications in maritime logistics, disaster response, and surveillance. Yet, significant challenges are still ahead, such as regulatory hurdles, infrastructure requirements, and public perception issues that must be overcome to unleash the potential of these unique vehicles fully. Furthermore, Continuous research and development will be essential to address technological challenges and enhance the efficiency of acronoplons across various missions and environments. In addition to civilian transportation, acronoplons have picked the curiosity of military organizations looking for creative approaches to maritime surveillance, amphibious assault, and anti-access area denial operations. With their remarkable speed and agility, these creatures are perfectly equipped to patrol coastal regions, carry out reconnaissance tasks, and assist naval operations in shallow waters. Moreover, the ability to transport heavy payloads, such as troops, equipment, and supplies, could significantly boost military mobility and force projection capabilities in various combat situations. With the rise of geopolitical tensions and the evolving challenges in maritime security, acronoplons may become a crucial component in military strategies and doctrines across the globe. The general public, along with government agencies, industry partners, and environmental organizations, all significantly impact the development and deployment of acronoplons. Various factors can shape how people view acronoplons, including safety, environmental effects, noise levels, and appearance. To tackle these concerns, it's essential to communicate openly, involve stakeholders, and take proactive steps to reduce risks and lessen any adverse effects. Moreover, Spreading the word through public education and awareness initiatives about the advantages of acronoplons in terms of efficiency, safety, and environmental sustainability could garner more support and promote wider acceptance of these groundbreaking vehicles. As the acronoplons rise in popularity as a reliable transportation and defense system, the importance of international collaboration and uniformity becomes more evident. When governments, industry stakeholders, and regulatory bodies join forces, they can create unified acronoplan standards, best practices, and certification criteria. By implementing international agreements and treaties, regulations can be streamlined, and cross-border operations can be made more accessible in shared waterways and airspace. Moreover, working together on research, development, and technology transfer can speed up innovation, lower expenses, and encourage compatibility among acronoplan operators globally. In short, Innovative, ambitious, and adaptable Behemoth Acronoplons path is enthralling. Acronoplons have endured successes and hardships from their Cold War beginnings to their status in modern aviation and maritime engineering.
leaving an everlasting influence on the aerospace industry. Despite challenges and interest changes, Acronoplans continue to fascinate fans and experts worldwide. The museums and galleries of their time honor their inventiveness and determination. Their tale continues. As the 21st century begins, Acronoplans can provide autonomous maritime monitoring, catastrophic response, and offshore operations. Enhanced performance, economy, and adaptability from technological advances suggest a rebirth in interest and uses for these extraordinary vehicles. Due to global ground effect vehicle competitiveness, states must cooperate. Acronoplans may reach their full potential in transportation, military, and marine operations by promoting worldwide standards, laws, and joint research. Despite the hurdles ahead, Acronoplans is optimistic. With dedication, creativity, and teamwork, Acronoplans may succeed and excite future generations with their unmatched skills and aviation heritage.